Hi everyone. Um, I hope you are staying encouraged. Um, I pray that everyone in the Bride of Christ is staying encouraged that the Lord is coming soon. I pray that he encourages you all and just look to him for encouragement. Um, just pray to him, Lord, show me, continue to show me that you are coming now, that you're coming soon. So uh, rely on him to um, keep you encouraged. But yes, I do pray that you all are staying encouraged, that he is coming soon. I know that, um, that it's been difficult. Um, it's not been easy waiting on the Lord to come. Um, it is definitely a challenging ride uh, that the bride is going through. We each have our own trials and tribulations, but um, I know me personally, he is, uh, at least in a few areas of my life, um, he has me in some awkward situations that the world would not understand even if I tried to explain it to him. It just seems um, really awkward and weird to the world. Um, it's against their expectations of um, the way I should be living my life. And even fellow believers um, who are not waiting on the Lord with eager anticipation wouldn't understand some of the things I'm going through. So I was really struggling with that, and I was just asking the Lord, like, um, am I on the right track, and am I doing what you want me to do, and why um, do I need to change something, and why is this? I was just seeking answers, and on one of the items um, he he gave me, he said that um, if you were to continue on doing this thing that I told you to stop, um, that I have been uh, not doing for uh, several months now, he said that it would um, it would draw you away from focusing on me and from getting closer to me and focusing on my return. He specifically used the word distraction. So even though we don't understand some of the things he's doing in our lives, um, they are ultimately, ultimately for our own good. And a lot of those things, uh, like what he told me, could be distractions if we uh, he allowed us to continue walking in them. So. Uh, the this uh, journey that we're on, the journey of the Bride of Christ, can be uh, particularly lonely. And in my particular instance, um, I don't know anyone that I come face-to-face -face contact with who is eagerly, with eager anticipation, waiting on the Lord. Like, no one that I know face-to-face -face is even talks about His return. It's only through uh, people on YouTube and on the inter who I've met on the internet who even talk about the Lord's return and who are just eagerly waiting for him to come back any day now. So it is definitely a lonely ride, um, that's for sure. And um, I know this looks different from for everyone. Uh, we all have our separate trials, but probably the one common factor is that it's awkward and it can be, um, the world just doesn't get it and your life looks completely weird and awkward to those around you. And the Lord even told me, don't even try to explain it to them. They won't get it. If they're not eagerly waiting for the Lord, they just won't get it. So I just, um, he wanted me to make a video about this, I guess, just to encourage you all. Um, if you're going through something awkward that doesn't make sense to the world that um, perhaps people are um, questioning why you're doing something in your life or not doing something in your life just to let you know you're not alone and that um, definitely the Lord has us each on a path that is um, bringing us closer to him um, he's having many of us just um, focusing on him and drawing near to him that's the season of course, every season is for drawing near to him, but especially this season, right before his return, is especially to draw us near to him. So um, whatever that looks like in your life, whatever this scenario is, um, just stay near to him. It 
may not all make sense right now um, why he's having you do certain things or not doing particular things stop doing particular things uh, but just uh, we just got to trust that he is good he is in control what he's doing in your life is for um, your own good to build you up in the faith and to draw you near to him bring him glory so um, just Keeping our focus on him is what matters right now, and um, I just wish you all the best, um, and that you stay focused on him and draw near to him, and we are out of here any day now, so um, just stay encouraged uh, and stay, stay near Jesus, and so he loves you all, so, and if you have not... Um, if you have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior, definitely don't delay. Uh, do that now because Jesus is coming back for his bride any day now. Um, there doesn't have to be any major catastrophe happen before because it's as in the days of Noah, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. So don't wait for something to happen before you repent and turn to Christ. Um, do that now, turn to Christ now, and um, repent means turning from your old sinful ways and letting the world, or letting the Lord take control of your life, letting him be um, in control, and just surrendering your whole complete self to him because he loves you, and uh, you will definitely want to be a part of the wedding supper of the Lamb because you definitely don't want to be here for the tribulation on the earth, and um that will be a splendid time um, in heaven with the uh, the bride of Christ. Um, so definitely, I hope to see you all there at the wedding supper of the Lamb. So love you all. Stay encouraged.